Every time I get on stage, I need to speak in a way that commands attention, where everyone can leave having learned something about me and having learned something about themselves. Really, leadership is the root of what it means to be an artist. I think that being a person in the media, you can put a tremendous amount of pressure on yourself to be perfect, and nobody really is, you know? The best we can do is kind of just learn and let our fans educate us and let young people educate us, because mine have. They've made me a better person. So the least I can do is be a good role model for them in return. I have always had, you know, a unique relationship with being a part of a mixed race family. Going out and people being unsure if my father was my father. Sometimes it was really funny. Sometimes it was laughable, you know, when I would seem like the odd kid out. And other times it was really scary and really violent and, and unnerving. I was very adamant about speaking about my experience being mixed, but I was also very aware that I was white passing. The Black Lives Matter protests were, you know, it was a really humbling time. It was terrifying, but not nearly as terrifying as what it's like for my father or for my brother, who live with the threat of that violence every single day. And it made me realize that no matter how much I do, I can always do more. At the very least, I can shine a light on black creatives so they can tell their stories and, in a sense, pass the microphone and give them a chance to speak. Because I think the first step to eliminating the hate that is present in this country right now is to create an open channel of understanding.